There's no fancy tub this week due to a really needy eight month old baby. So this week, we're gonna talk about the science of Rocky Road. So when I was in America, I went to one of the Wits frozen custard outlets and tried their Rocky Road. And it was incredible, really, really good. It went straight on my list of ice creams to try. And that is what we're gonna do today. We're gonna have a look and see if we can recreate, based on their ingredients, their ice cream. But first, what is it? What is Rocky Road? So there's no solid evidence online, surprise, surprise, as to the actual origins of Rocky Road. But the information I can find is that it originated in Australia in the mid 1800s and it was developed for one reason really and that was to make sure that, that all the produce that's being ferried around the country wasn't wasted. They added chocolate, usually cheap chocolate, to the partially spoiled confection that they were carrying and that enabled them to create what was then the Rocky Road Slab. It was made as a sheet cake kind of thing, chopped up into squares kind of like brownies and sold like that. In the early 1900s, it was brought over to the UK. We sold it as Tiffin back then, but now we're starting to sell it as Rocky Road because England wants to be basically anyone other than England. So we just copy everyone else's stuff. We're now gonna move on to the Rocky Road ice cream. And this is kind of what is the famous part of the name. There are claims that the Rocky Road ice cream was invented by Fenton's Creamery. I think that's California in the early 1900s. But then there are other claims that Dreyer's ice cream holdings created this flavor in 1929. Who knows? So what exactly is Rocky Road? So in Australia, it looks like this and is originally made with chocolate, marshmallows, cherries, coconut, and nuts. In the UK, it's actually quite similar, but without the coconut. And Tiffin has bits of biscuit in it as well. In the US, it's very rarely sold like that. It's really just sold as their ice cream flavor. And that brings us on to Wits. Now they were kind enough to put their ingredients and nutritional facts online. I'm gonna put those here. What we can see is that it's a 17% fat, 19% sugar, which is quite high, but it's also got 7% protein, which is also quite high. So let's see what we can do and try and reverse engineer their rocky road. What we can actually do is break these nutritional facts and ingredients down using an ice cream calculator. Here you can see me uh, inputting different numbers of relevant ingredients to try and create something around the 17, 19 and 7% that we know WIT has. So with these basic numbers in place, we can actually get pretty close to theirs. But if you look down the bottom of their ingredients list, you will see a whole load of stabilizers and that tetrasodium pyrophosphate. Now that might sound like something you really don't want to eat, but in reality, it's just a type of salt. Salt has really good freezing point depression ability, so will help with that ever attainable scoopability. All of these stabilizers are actually vegan. I know a lot of people don't like using these, but in reality, they're all made from natural ingredients such as seaweed. Now we've got all the ingredients, we know what we're doing, we're gonna suit up and get making. Now, one of the beautiful things about making Rocky Road is there are so many variations of this around the world. And because we had leftover chocolate covered almonds from our serendipity ice cream, I'll put a link up in the corner for you. We're gonna use those. And along with our mini marshmallows and a little bit extra of chopped milk chocolate, that will make this chocolate base even better. A really easy base to make, just put all your ingredients in a pan, add those egg yolks, heat it up to 80 to 85 degrees C, that will cook your egg yolks without scrambling them take it off the heat, put it in a container in your fridge for at least four hours. So once your ice cream is properly chilled, you can pop it in your ice cream machine to churn. That will take somewhere around 15 to 30 minutes depending on your machine. Whilst your ice cream is churning, you can chop up your almonds, get your marshmallows ready, chop up your chocolate, basically do whatever you wanna do with the stuff that you're adding in, free reign. When your ice cream's ready, then start loading it into your tub and just layer in all these ingredients you've got ready, whatever you like, 
go to town. Pop it in the freezer for three to four hours until you're ready to eat it. That's how you make Rocky Road. Let's go and grab it out of the freezer and see what it looks like. There we go. Great scoop, lovely and soft. You can see those almonds in there. I mean, chocolate covered almonds, you know, that's what we've got. And you just splash out and use what's in your cupboard. Little mini marshmallows, little bits of chopped chocolate. It's looking good. Let's just see what it's like. It's really good. It's a great flavor. It's a classic flavor of Rocky Road. There's a weird thing in this, the, the high protein, but why that's in here, I'm not quite sure. They've actually made a conscious effort to add additional whey, which is, if you're not selling a, an ice cream as a protein-based ice cream, then kind of makes you wonder why they do it. But it's got a good texture. The strength of the chocolate flavor in the base is not too overpowering. And sometimes you get that where it's a really punchy chocolate ice cream. You don't taste all the add-ins. You kind of want the add-ins to be the point of this ice cream. The marshmallows go lovely and chewy in the freezer. Now, some marshmallows don't go chewy. Some go rock hard. Why they're all different, I don't know. Essentially, it's to do with the sugar content. The little chopped chocolate in there just adds a little bit more decadence to it just a little bit not too much i mean this is a great flavor rocky road is a classic everyone likes rocky road unless you hate chocolate then you know this video isn't for you the stabilizers in this what, what do they do i mean they do different things depending on what stabilizer you use but essentially they help the fats bond to the water and create less iciness or they slow down the melting element or they change the freezing point depression Different ones do different things. Normally you use a combination of both. Now I can tell from their ingredients, they've actually probably used a proprietary mix that they bought off the shelf. It's quite common. You can buy these basically anywhere. And would you want to do that at home? If you make a big batch of it, you want to keep it in the freezer? Absolutely. It will last for months if you do this. If you don't add a kind of stabilizer or any stabilizer, the ice cream will deteriorate over the course of, you know, three to four weeks. But in my house, it doesn't last more than three or four days. So I don't normally use it unless I make a big batch of something and then I will. So there we have it. A basic, slightly scientific breakdown of Rocky Road. Is this the kind of video that you like, that scientific-ish element to ice cream? Or would you just rather watch me make loads of different flavors? Is there a specific flavor that you want to see me make? Hit us down in the comments below, let us know, and we'll see what we can do. But for now, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week.